after you saw? Good evening to you all, listeners. I'm still on my way back to Accra from the constituency. I'm trying to come and put together some relief material. We've been there since about 9 a.m. Um, the devastation starts from parts of Adote in Dawenya Township proper in the South Dawenya Electoral Area, and then stretches all the way to Osonshi, Terrazzo Junction, all the way to Adankope, and then goes all the way to behind Savannah Junction. Uh, behind Adum Estate. And then we also have some flooding that happened on the Afienya stretch. So Philip Kope, Afutu Kope have all been affected um, by this flooding. Now, yesterday, I interviewed the manager for the irrigation authority there. He said to me that they do regular flooding of the, or, or, or what's the word, um, spilling of the, of, the, of the dam. And this happens every three months, and it does not cause devastation. He says yesterday's own was pe uh, peculiar and actually uh, was uh, exacerbated by a stream that flows through the area, which stream rarely overflows, but because it overflowed, it caused a problem that we are witnessing. You are rather saying it's negligence on the part of the dam managers, but this is the response he gave to me yesterday. Well, Omar, and your your media people were the media people were there. We decided to start from the irrigation plant, the irrigation property today. And when we got to the irrigation site, before you even get to the dam, the spillage, the way the dam at Dawenya is built, is not an individual who does the spillage. It is built in such a way that once the water hits a certain level, it automatically spills. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. So it's not as though someone stops and chooses when to spill. Once the water levels rise, it spills. But what has exacerbated this is that there's a river body that runs parallel to the dam and the spill gates of the, of the dam. Now, that water body has buffer zones. It has aquifers that allow for the dam, for the, for the river, the stream, to, to overflow its banks. And then the water sits there and then gradually dissipates itself into town, so you don't have a fl you don't have flooding. The management of the irrigation development authority, managers of the irrigation site at Doenya, they have sold the buffer of the stream. And when I challenged the current scheme manager, I believe is the one you spoke to yesterday, he said to me that he agrees perfectly with me. But it is not his fault because he wasn't there when this was done. He's been there for only eight months and the land was sold before he came there. He's tried to push the people away, but he's limited in what he can do. I asked the DC who was standing there, that did you grant permit for someone to come and fill the aquifer, the buffer zone, basically a Ramsey site that holds the overflow? You will see that they have built on one side of it, they have built some, some kind of warehouse structure, and then they fill the other part of it. Where is the district engineering department? Who gave permits for this? So I'm trying to get the name of the immediate past manager of the irrigation, uh, the irrigation project at Dawenya. And I will put it out in public and demand that whichever ministry is responsible, be the Ministry of Agri or the Ministry of Water Resources, must demand from him what authority he had to sell portions of the irrigation land to foreigners, I am hearing, Chinese and Indians. And that is what has created this flooding situation that has cost over 600 people their, their livelihood and property. I mean, it's, it's just unthinkable, the kind of indiscipline and failure of systems that have caused this. All right. Moving ahead, so the people are affected. What kind of solution do you need in that area, and how are you arranging that for them, and where are they putting up? Well, well, we in, in our tour with the Assemblyman for the Lalueco area, we realized that there was a bigger problem because even... Because I was wondering why the water wasn't dissipating fast enough. Because the, the Lalue... Which is that? Which is the water body empties into the sea, and this goes behind Porter City all the way, and then finds its way into the sea. 
So I was asking myself, if you look at the water level, it's dropped by just about a feet and a half or two feet since yesterday. Why is it not flowing? And then they say to me that upstream, close to the estuary with the river body, with, with the sea, there, there is a blockage that has occurred there behind Adum Estate. So we drive there with Nadbo. And tomorrow, somebody has built his hotel. And because of where he's built his hotel, he chose to construct a road through the river body and block the river and created a three-feet uh, 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 culvert to channel the whole volume of the river. Now, that three-feet culvert certainly cannot do the job. If he wanted to build the road, he should have worked with the district engineers and at least had six of those three feet culverts uh, in, in there. But no, just one. And so it is because of that blockage, that so-called road that has been created there. So it's not more. Nanmo said, look, we need to open up for the water to go. They said they have to come back to Accra and see what to do. I mean, I asked the assemblyman, I said, what can we do? He says, we need money. They, they gave me a bill, almost 10,000 Ghana cities. I provided the money. I said, get the equipment. I've spoken to the divisional commander to provide security. Tomorrow morning, go there and open up for the water to flow into the sea. One individual cannot use his hotel access to his hotel to create this mess for the whole community. But again, like I ask, where is the district in all of this? Because the DC and the district engineer are supposed to be responsible for such permits. How someone can block a whole stream, a whole river to create a road to his hotel. Umaru. Sounds I'm still, I'm still at a loss. Sounds sounds very very. Uh, I don't even know the right word to use, but it's painful. It's um, indiscipline. Yeah. It's indiscipline. And now I'm having to come around, and I'm going to come to you to beg you because you know parts of Afiyanya that have been affected for bags of rice. People's so, livelihoods have been lost. When when your reporter met us on the ground, I had arrived with a team, and I met an exasperated father who had gone to Tema yesterday. And for since yesterday, has been standing and watching his wife and three kids, the youngest of them barely a year old, stuck in a building without food for 48 hours. Thankfully, we have a team of young men with us who went into the water. The water reached was above their shoulders. So they had to hold hands and wade through to go and bring this woman and the three kids out of the water. I mean, 48 hours, everything they have gone because of people's indiscipline and the inaction of some people. I mean, we must, we must begin to hold people responsible and demand that people account for their stewardship. It's unacceptable. Finally, because this was, um, we are told, caused immediately by the heavy rains of two days ago, and since it is not raining, should we believe then that this would be the last time we are saying this and it will soon be over? Or the troubles are going to continue for some time? I, I don't want, I, I would want to err on the side of caution and say this is not the end of it. Because you see, it's not about the rains in Ningo Pram Pram. It's actually the rains in the mountain. So the entire Iberi range empties into, into the sea through the Wenya and parts of, of Pram Pram. And so the rains that fell on Sunday really in Pram Pram should not have caused this. But it is the flow of water from the mountain range and then from the Doyumu area, from the Shai Hills. All the mountain, all the, all the, all the rain from the Shai Hills drain through from Agotor, Doyumu, all drain through the, the Pram Pram area and into the Lalue, into the sea. And so if you look at the clouds and look at the forecast, we can, we can only pray. We can, can only pray. We can only pray. Thank you so much, uh, Sam George, Member of Parliament, Ningo Pram Pram in the Greater Accra region, speaking to us about the flood situation in Dovenia.